Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy and today we are getting into makeup. I have some content that I need to shoot with Offer Cosmetics and Juicy Couture, which I'm super excited about by the way. And I just thought, why not film it? So here we are. The first product I'm going to be using is the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. I like this primer a lot because it's super watery. It's unlike any primer I've ever used before. And it definitely keeps my skin pretty dewy and glowy, which if you can tell, my skin is not at its best right now. That's okay though, your skin's always changing and ebbing and flowing, so it'll probably be clear next week, but it really just depends. I try not to get that down about my skin just because I know that it's always changing and hormones and diet and trying out new products always plays into that, so try not to get too down about your skin, but also take the time you need to learn about your skin and accept your skin how it is. It dries down super fast without leaving my skin feeling sticky. If you have dry skin, I think this would work really well for you. I have oily to combination skin and it doesn't leave my skin feeling super greasy or anything like that. Just to note though, I usually use silicone primers and this is absolutely nothing like a silicone primer. So if you're expecting that or looking for that, I would not recommend this. Next, I'm just gonna go in with a skin tint. I'm not going to mention the brand because they're racist. Let it be known, I was not aware of this brand's exclusivity and racist problems before I purchased this, but that does not mean I will support them on my channel because you age like trash when you're a racist. As far as coverage, it really doesn't do much, but it does just even out my skin tone and I don't feel like putting on a heavy foundation, therefore I will not. I'm pretty open about having acne and acne scars and things like that, which took a really long time for me to accept and feel comfortable discussing. On my Instagram platform, I really do try to promote raw and real skin. I know that it is easier said than done, and I understand that everybody's breakouts and acne and imperfections are so personal to them, so I would never want someone to look at my skin, blur it and edit it out and think, oh, her skin's so perfect because it's anything but perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect. I don't think there's such a thing as having good or bad skin. I think we need to let go of that stigma as well. That being said, I do try to be really real, open and honest when it comes to my skin. Okay, next we're gonna go in with another product from said brand that will not be named. And it's just one of their cream gel blushes, which I'm sure will give this away on what brand I'm talking about, but oh well. I'll make a video on, maybe I won't. Actually, I will, I don't care. I'll make a video on why this extremely popular brand is racist and exclusive and only caters to Caucasian people. And it might shock some of you. It shocked me and I was not very happy when I found out, but anyway. a neutral brown color to kind of just the mailman's here I can hear him at my door yay oh my gosh he's scanning so many packages I don't know if you can hear that beeping but that's him like using the scanner anyways so I just used a neutral tan peachy color to kind of just even out for the eye look that I'm going for which hopefully that goes well next up is probably my favorite makeup-esque type thing, which is eyebrows. I just use the spoolie from e.l.f., brush my eyebrows up, use more makeup from said brand. It kind of just sucks because I have so much makeup from them. They're probably one of the only makeup brands I use frequently and commonly. So hopefully they can change their ways, but I'm just gonna go in and brush my eyebrows through. This is just in the shade back, back. This is just in the plain black shade. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I can't see very well though because I'm only looking in my viewfinder. So hopefully I don't look wild. Okay. I essentially just brush my eyebrows up and then like fix the tails. I kind of like the frayed, feathery, like, I want to look like I got electrocuted. And that is how I do my eyebrows. Then I'm just going to go in with this palette that Ofra Cosmetics sent me. Ofra? Ofra? O-F-R-A? Anyways, it's so pretty. There's you guys, but here's the palette. It's so gorgeous. 
I've seen everybody doing these looks where they put eyeshadow on their top lash and then line it with the lower, so I'm gonna go for that. We'll see how it goes. wild okay I don't know how to do makeup that well so I'm just blending in this white and this crazy color up here and hoping for the best I want it to look kind of what like crazy and dramatic anyways and it will okay I'm just gonna use the end of my little spoolie brush <laughs> This looks so, I look dirty. <laughs> it's hard looking in the viewfinder because everything is backwards mirrored. So it's just hard to like, it's easy for this eye, but it's hard for the, the eye I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. <laughs> And essentially that's the final look. I'm not gonna do anything on my lips or anything like that. It looks so wild and messy. These are not even, I don't know, but it'll look super cool in the end. I'm gonna set up my ring light, put a filter over it so everything looks kind of pink and cool. I guess I could show that. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna talk about lighting. I got my ring light from Amazon and I got these like fun gels from Amazon as well. cooler once I fix my lighting around me and stuff like that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.